Welcome back to part 10 of Feel the Beat with FL Studio. Now we can start having some fun with another tool in FL Studio. Let's open the Fruity Slicer. In the slicer itself, click on the second button here to load a sample. We'll try a simple drum loop. You can see that the loop is automatically sliced and a piano roll is created to play the beat. If we look at the options under the slicer's fourth button here, we can reverse the order of the notes, randomize them, swing or stutter them. If you don't like the results you get here, you can choose normal at the top to start over. Now that we have a beat, let's try adding a quick bass line. In the sequencer window, clone the slicer, and then choose Flatten Groove from the new slicer to lay the beat out on a single note. Next, replace that slicer with any synth you like. If we can find a good bass preset, we should have a bass note on every hit of our beat. Now we can erase some notes or shift some notes around in pitch to get a line that we like. We can also look under the Piano Roll Options menu and at the Tools section to create some variations on our bass line quickly. Try playing with the arpeggiator, for instance. You can apply tricks like these in many different areas of FL Studio. So be sure to experiment to find the sounds that you like. This is the last episode in the series, but remember, there are 10 parts in this tutorial. So be sure to check out the other episodes in the Feel the Beat with FL Studio series.